Hey, me, brawler. Can our first song go like this? And then turn into one of those songs that goes. Yes, perfect. Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to another Road to Elite Smash, and last time we got in Korn, the Dragon Warrior who was able to deliver a crucial counter to finish off her Elite Smash run. Wait, whoa, whoa, what is happening? The Dragon Warrior, it's me! And with Korn in, we just only have three characters left in our gigantic Road to Elite Smash series. That's right, we're only down to just one series left, and it is going to be the Super Smash series, the me series, whatever it is, there are only three characters left and they are all part of that same series. Now in terms of which me we're going to be getting in first today, it's going to be me Brawler, the Brawler class of the me Fighters, and honestly, with his up close and personal battle styles, I think me Brawler is going to be a quite a fun pick. So I want to talk about his alts, he doesn't have any, because you can choose whichever me you want. I'm just going to use a me that looks a lot like me, a me that looks a lot like me. So let's go ahead and do it. Alright, looks like we have Richter up first, and I'm not a big fan that we're gonna have to deal with range today, but let's go over Me Brawler's moveset. And this is actually one of his neutral beats, called Exploding Psychic. Now, I say one because Me Brawler actually has a bunch of different special moves. That is something powerful you can do with Exploding Psychic. You can turn around. It's just like Dragon Punch. And that's a side beat, or at least one of them, Burning Dropkick, as Richter fails to recover. So, the thing with Me Brawler is that he has several movesets. I don't know why he was taunted there. He's already down, and that's a down B that I chose head on assault. It's not exactly good, but I just think it's really funny, and it just it reminds me of Bowser down B, which I think is pretty cool. Dying at 207, not really gonna make a difference. But yeah, Me Brawler has a bunch of other moves that you're not actually not going to be able to see, unfortunately. I was actually gonna guard him there, and he failed the recovery once again, so another stock lead. We're actually doing a pretty good job. Alright, but you gotta be ready to raise. We can get him back. Ah, ooh, alright. So our up is a soaring axe kick, which I think is really cool. He goes up in the air and takes him down. Unfortunately, with Burning Dropkick being able to bounce off of projectiles, it doesn't help since he ended up jumping in, but it does give us a nice position to put himself for a really nice nair, giving him once again. I wanted to finish him off with that soaring axe kick, but that nair, it's really, really good, and you'll see a lot more of it later, and a lot of more other moves as we move on to the next one. Alright, moving on to the next match against Rick, you're gonna end a nice dash tech off the start and a nice F smash read, and he's just dead like that. Get a nice foot cool for injury, and he only taking 15% off of that. Pretty nice start. Alright, next back with burning drop kicks. So I do want to say that with uh, me brawling his moveset, and all the me's actually, unfortunately, running into that F smash. But back to what I was saying, I won't be able to show off all of their moves, especially since you can only have one of his special moves at one time. And I can't talk about the other moves if they just aren't there. Alright. Nice sneaking in a nice back air to take that kill. And I will say, Me Brawler does actually have a lot better moves for his neutral be his specials. I didn't pick the best ones, I just picked the ones that I thought were fun. And that's what I'll be doing with all the Me Fighters. Is I won't be picking moves that are extremely broken. Of course, we're getting hit by the axe, but I will be taking moves that I think are really fun. So, like, head on assault. Like, it's a fun move. Oh my god! Alright, well, looks like we're getting him with an F smash. I Looks like he just got him on the foot, but hey, with me, Brawler, we're just making moves. Alright, looks like we have Lucas up to finish out our me brawler at least match run unfortunately not undefeated once again but it's all right i think we're just gonna have a nice easy time and trying to get him with a, a down tilt as well it goes it combos really well out of there trying to get him with that uh soaring x kick i want to get a kill with at least one of those because that's my favorite recovery out of his almost getting him with that f smash that's helping helping out a lot oh it looks like he needs a nice team no i think he can make it back he can definitely no nope. uh well i guess not all right well, I don't know. It seems interesting that throughout our entire Elite Smash run, most Lucases just don't recover as well as they so, really should be. And we're going to make it back since we did shave our jump, which is really nice. I right, get him for Soaring Axe Kick. Doing a nice job. All right. All right. All right, and he's going to mess it up. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? I'm going to kill you with hammers. What is a 
it with this F smash. I, I mean, we got him on the foot twice so far. It's, it's insane. We're still living at 138. Down tilt into F smash again to 29%. Oh, nice parry. Oh, I wanted to get him with that head on assault. Maybe cause a shield break. It's not a wild C. Yeah, or if that was a Bowser zombie, that would have broken shield immediately. Dude, that's cheap. So, it's a little unfortunate, but it's all right. He has a lot of other moves. Got to give him that sword and sink again. We're really close on that. All right, Nair, down tilt. All right, nice forward there. It comes out really well. Oh, no. Oh, all right. He was a little bit close, so it didn't do the spike. But let's go ahead. From offstage, I want that spike. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Soaring Axe Kick for the win. I told you, that's why I picked it. It's just the best move. It's the best move to kill. And yeah, just making moves. Well, we certainly made a statement here today with me, Brawler, proving that you can just have fun with this character and make it to the top of Elite Smash. I gotta say, me Brawler's custom moves, while not exactly the best ones I chose, as there are certainly some better ones, I didn't use them because you know what? I think Exploding Psychic is really fun. Same thing with Penal Result. It really doesn't matter. As you'll see with all of the, the meat characters, that's really what I'm just gonna do. I aim to have fun. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.